What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a really quick video taking a look at a new feature that's coming to the iPhone 7 Plus with iOS 10.1, which is currently in a beta, so this just launched today. But one of the features that the 7 Plus was touted for is a very shallow depth of field effect, which is actually done via software. Now it's able to accomplish this because it has a dual lens setup, which is able to map an image for its depth. So this allows the image processor and the camera app to blur the background around a main subject, and this happens automatically within the the camera app. Now what you'll find here is that once you launch the camera app you'll see this portrait mode which now becomes available. Now with portrait mode you kind of have to stay pretty far away from the subject in order to get it in the shot. Now if you're too close to the subject it will let you know or if there's not enough distance between the background and the subject it will also let you know so you basically have to pull the camera back or reposition the subject in order to get the effect to come into play. Now this happens in real time. In fact sometimes you'll see it turn on and off as it finds the right point. Now the effect seems to be pretty smart here. It actually knows the distance between the subject and the background, so it applies the appropriate filter for that distance, so it's not very artificial. So it's not just a simple filter applied to the area around the subject, it's actually fairly smart. Now for the most part, this works extremely well. It's able to define the subject and the background pretty clearly, but there can be instances where this doesn't work as well. So for example, if the subject has very unrefined borders, such as a plant, which has some things sticking out here, you can see that the main part of the plant is in focus while some of those fronds are out of focus so things don't look quite right. Now given the fact that this mode is named portrait it's probably intended primarily for faces but of course it does work with subjects as well so it doesn't have to be limited specifically to just people. Now when you're taking a portrait photograph you're actually recording two photographs one normal and one with the depth effect applied. So if you don't want to keep the normal photograph you can actually change this under settings. So you have to go to settings photos and camera, and you'll see portrait mode, which allows you to keep the normal photo or not. And of course, this will be coming as a free update pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know, and I'll see you again in the next video.